Monica Novotny live at the satellite desk where a woman raped on a New York subway is speaking out. Almost four years ago, a woman who is named Maria, we're not giving out her last name to protect her, she was riding the train early in the morning when she was approached by a man who began touching her feet. They were alone on the train. When she made the move to get off, her attacker followed. She saw a subway worker in a ticket booth when she managed to run up the stairway to try to get away from this attacker. She made eye contact with that transit worker, but he didn't leave the booth. He did press uh, an emergency button, though, to call for help. Maria was then dragged down the stairs, and police say she was raped twice. A train also pulled up during that time, and a conductor who was driving that train saw the disturbance. Marie said she made eye contact with that person as well. They did the same thing. They pressed the emergency button for a response and then moved on. I talked to Maria and her lawyer about this horrific ordeal and why she's speaking out now. I believe my assault happened in a really terrible situation that could have been prevented. You know, I was raped uh, on a subway platform and, you know, did make eye contact with a toll booth clerk when I ran up the stairs screaming for help and was dragged down by the man assaulting me. And I felt that, you know, so many women out there are taking the subways, you know, late at night thinking they're safe. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. And, you know, the other reason that I decided to speak out was you know, um, as a survivor, the most important thing I believe in is breaking the silence because once you begin to talk about, you know, what happened to you and your story, you, know, you let go of the self-doubt and, you know, begin to feel empowered again. And I just encourage other women to do the same and, you know, break their silence and mm -hmm. come forward. And in fact, two transit workers, ultimately, uh, you were able to make contact with, uh, and they both saw what was going on, both pressed a button to call for help. What more do you feel they should have done to prevent this? I mean, they could have done something very simple, which was just go over the intercom, um, I mean, the toll booth clerk, and he could have, you know, said, I've called the police or just stop what you're doing. That usually, you know, sends criminals flying. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately. And in fact, you don't even, you, you don't blame your attacker for this. You blame those who didn't help you. I don't because my attacker was obviously, you know, psychotic and, and deranged and mentally ill. Um, however, the, the transit workers, you know, obviously were in their right mind and had emotions um, just like I do and unfortunately you know their conscience didn't come into play when you know they press that panic button and you filed a lawsuit against the transit workers and the transportation authority last week a judge threw out your lawsuit saying that the subway workers had taken appropriate action and had followed subway work rules what's your reaction been to that I mean it was devastating um, to hear the decision because you know, I was really hoping that, you know, not only to get justice, but for change to happen, for the subways to be safer for other women, you mm -hmm. know, and the, the fact that they said that they took um, prompt action while, you know, the police arrived 10 minutes later after I had already been raped twice, you know, so I'm not really sure how prompt that is. And Mark, are you planning an appeal here? Yes, uh, we're certainly planning to appeal to continue to fight for Maria, and we, we believe that the judge's decision was incorrect in many respects. All right, Mark Albert and Maria, we thank you both for your time today. Thank, thank you. you. An MTA spokesperson says, quote, while New York City transit workers are trained to the highest degree of professionalism in their assigned jobs, they are not and should not be expected to perform in the capacity of law enforcement officers. Maria's rapist, by the way, still has not been found.